Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. Before we begin today's episode, I just want to give a huge thanks to all of you in the last episode. So many of you left suggestions for what I should use my skill points for, so I really quickly want to cover that before we continue. And I want to give a really special thanks to Possum Cat, hopefully I said your name right, for giving me an absolute ton of tips and information. This was really, really helpful and I'm still kind of taking notes. So thank you so, so much. Now a very interesting ability that Possum Cat suggested was Rampage. The player gains a massive damage boost for a short duration of time. So it only costs one skill point. We would get plus 50% of the damage we would normally do. It lasts for 20 seconds and the cooldown is a little bit over so it's the cooldown is three minutes. So this is actually a great option for when we want to fight the boss. And I will actually be taking this just because I think it is a very cool one to have. So here we go. We have learned Rampage and there it is right there. Now Puzzle Cat also suggested speed or potentially upgrading my dash. Speed was also suggested and I think this is a very good suggestion and I will be taking this as well. Increases the player's movement speed by applying speed levels permanently and this just makes us faster. <laughs> this is really really cool. Now the next suggested one is Mega Jump and apparently it will allow us to jump 10 blocks high. That is more than I thought Omega Jump would actually give. The cooldown is only 20 seconds and again this is great for maneuverability in the vault so I will be taking this one as well. Uh -huh. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! Now of course that was just three skills slash abilities we just used. I got so many other suggestions. So guys, thank you very much for all of those amazing, amazing suggestions. Now in today's episode, I want to run even more vaults. In the last episode, I got these mystery eggs and I didn't realize you actually need to open them to see what spawn egg you get. I thought you would place it down and it would spawn something random, but it actually gives you a spawn egg. In this case, a pig spawn egg. Cow. And let's see what else we got. Two cows, one sheep, one pig, one strider, and one chicken. So the more we get of these, the more I can actually set up a farm without too much of a hassle. Now I got these in the last episode, rocket arrows. I'm about to go and test these, but then I realize I don't have a bow. So I should probably get myself a bow first. Now this bow has no enchantments whatsoever. I do want to enchant a bow today before heading into uh, the next vault. I think I also want to shine up this area a little bit. I'll do that in between clips here. But first, oh yeah, Creeper Explorer here. But first I want to test out this. Oh wow, we have so many abilities now. This is actually amazing. Let's, um, let's do it over here. Let's blow a hole right in that wall over there. Oh. Hmm. Okay, it is way more powerful <laughs> than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, there it is. Wait, can I collect it? Okay, I get a normal arrow back. I, I think that's fair. <laughs> Thanks for telling me to test it in an insignificant place. <laughs> now, before doing the next vault crystal right here, I just want to do... A few enchantments on this bow. Power 5 and Unbreaking 3. I don't think I'm gonna get Mending on this thing. Infinity instead would be great. I just don't have an Infinity Villager. But by the looks of things, I won't need an Infinity Villager. I have quite a lot of arrows as it is, so that is pretty cool. So, I want to quickly uh, clean up my inventory a little bit, but I also want to make this place look a little bit better. So, I'm gonna do all that, and then we are gonna go ahead and get this vault recipe. I think we're gonna make a bunch of vault crystals at once, but let me get all this stuff organized, and I'll see you right after. So, give me a second. Alright, I think this is looking a lot better, and also... Not to mention, it's a lot more safe than before. I really like this. I have also been busy converting our instant health 1 potions into instant health 2 potions that we got from our last couple of vault runs. And I've also been making this wooden storage crate into my vault run crate, basically. So this is going to 
contain extra potions and I have also equipped it with three splash potions of strength. I don't have any power bars yet, which are these right here, which gives me strength four for 30 seconds, which are very useful, by the way, when you take on bosses. Again, thanks, Possum Cat. <laughs> <laughs> and then in here I also have a couple of candy bars and a couple of hearty apples and an enchanted golden apple. This is really for when I need to fight a boss or when I run out of instant health potions. So this is kind of my vault run crate that I will have on me at all times when I enter new vaults. But anyways, let us take a look now at the next vault crystal recipe. I need one poisonous potato, six ink sacks, sand and gold. I have most of that with probably the most annoying thing being the ink sack. <laughs> I've been hoarding poisonous potatoes because of this reason right here. And I also need sand. I have a stack, but that's not enough. So I'm gonna head on over here to the ocean. Aha, there we go. And 15. Next, I'm gonna need or a stack of sand. My base is slowly starting to get along into something more than just a cave. Throughout the series, I would want to expand this base and really make this whole front of this uh, mountain or hill here look really, really cool. But yeah, we're making slow progress. All right, this should be all the sand and all the ink sack required. Bing. Perfect, our next vault crystal. But I want to make a few more now that we are at it. So let's grab one of the many vault rocks that we have and plop that into there. Let's see, 26 raw chicken. Now that's an issue, 14 emeralds, easy, dirt, easy. And what is that, soul? Uh huh. Right, wraith. I know where to get these. We need to head to the nether to get those. Raw chicken though, that might be an issue. <laughs> I only have one chicken spawn egg, so yeah, I guess I really should get started on some sort of farm soon. Boom, boom. And now that one is easy enough to get. My concern is the raw chicken. So I'm gonna slap on some wings here and we're gonna fly somewhere. I just found a village. Guys, I just found a village I haven't been to yet. Hey, yoink and yoink. <laughs> okay, I won't steal all of them, but I'll grab a few because I am actually in need. This was a good find. Well, since they don't have any chickens, I don't think there's anything else that I really need from this place. My search continues. It's one of those things where when you don't need it, it is everywhere. You see chickens everywhere. But then when you do need it, it's like, oh wait, we don't exist. Target sighted. One down, 25 to go. <laughs> now just while we're out hunting here, the villagers are actually reminding me to remind you to subscribe if you haven't done so yet and enable those notifications so you don't miss another upload. Yeah, see, exactly. And also leave a like if you're enjoying the video so far. Is that a natural spawned pink sheep? Aren't, they like, aren't, aren't these guys like extremely rare or something? Huh. Well then, 27 raw chicken. I think that should do it. Let's head home. Uh, oh yeah, that's a little far. <laughs> home, sweet home. And perfect landing. All right, add the chicken. There we go. The next thing we need is one of those. The soul, I almost want to say beard. <laughs> <laughs> the soul beard. For this we need to head to the nether. And then I need to locate this. A soul sand valley. Okay, I'm slightly confused. What I expected to spawn here isn't actually spawning. Not seeing much activity and I don't... Wait, that's one. So these are supposed to be like mobs that were killed in the overworld and now they're here. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway. There is the soul beard. Uh, beard, beard. I still want to say beard. Can we go, can we just call the owl? Can, can we call this the soul beard, please? <laughs> I, I want to call it that. And boom, second vault crystal of the day. Bing, perfect. All right, add that to the chest. Take the next one out. I don't know how many I want to do. Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> 
Well, it would be if we didn't have so many diamonds. Yeah, it, it's not really expensive. This is quite easy. Five cakes. Perfect. Boom, 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 and boom. Done. 482 nether rack. I might have that, you know. Oh yeah, I definitely have it all. <laughs> there we go. Third volt crystal of the day. Boom. Now, I'm making all these, though I don't know how many of these we will actually be running. I just want to make a bunch of these crafting. And apparently we're done. <laughs> I don't have any bee stuff. There was a bee room in the last vault. Why didn't I grab some stuff? Okay, don't think this stuff was there anyway. But okay, um, I guess that was that. I, I mean, I can add some of it. I don't even have any magnet blocks. So I think that is it. We made three vault crystals of which I want to run as many of those as I possibly can. So let me get ready. One thing that I definitely will want to add to my vault storage crate here are eyes of ender because there is a specific room with a stronghold underneath it where if you use eyes of ender you could get a bunch of gilded chests. So if I come across that room I do not want to not have that. Only thing I need now is some pillaring blocks and then I think I'm good. Except that I just realized that I wanted to craft this. A weak vault magnet. It sucks dropped items towards a player and I think this would be very very cool to have and I think I might be making a mistake here. It might not be worth it at all but I'm gonna make it because yeah I, I really want to. <laughs> so we need weak magnet core. Now this is a weak magnet but if I search for magnet, the next one is requires an echo gem, which is extremely rare and we do not have that. So yeah, I don't know if this is worth it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And with that, sucks dropped items towards the player magnet thing has been achieved. So now it is turned on and if I drop something, I pick it up instantly. All right, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna grab a vault crystal and we are gonna do our first vault of the day. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, right, let's go, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we got a bunch of modifiers here. We got slowness, we got regeneration though, we got unlucky and we got crowded. So crowded means mobs will I think constantly spawn around me. Unlucky, we got minus one luck level which I think might affect how much loot we get. Not how much loot but the loot in the chests. We do have healing though however and we do have regeneration. So this is gonna be a more difficult vault for sure. Let's get to work then. One thing that I learned in my previous vault run, ignore the mobs as much as possible because, oh this is a very nice hallway, oh dear that's four witches. That's bad. Uh oh. And cleanse. And that's a problem, that's a bad, that's a bad problem. Okay. <laughs> right. Cleanse again. Good thing I can regenerate. Okay, you are not okay. Whoa, that's a lot of mobs here. I assume there will be stuff like underwater maybe. But considering I don't have very good water equipment, I'm just gonna keep running. To the next room. Make a jump. Very cool. Oh, I can climb the chains. I can access the chest in the, in the ceiling. Hopefully it's not trapped. Let's see. Oh no. No, it was not. All right, on to the next one. Ooh. Okay, this is a very good room. Okay, this is a room though that I'm very happy about. And let's see what's in the chest. Ooh, an Omega chest. I'm actually happy I got this bow because it actually seems to one-shot the zombies. Okay. That was a little too close for comfort. Oh, there's another floor down here. Okay, done with that crystal room. I have 12 minutes remaining. I got a lot of ores from that room. Now I would like to see if there's anything else in any nearby rooms before I gotta call it a room. That's an ex... I believe rare. 
I haven't really had a use for the vault magnet just yet. Okay, so I got some information about those right there. These statues, when they don't have a challenge for you, they might have a chest behind it, but it might also be trapped. So of course I will be checking this one out. Just stand back, nothing. But there is a gold block here, which I'll gladly take. Now that waypoint right there is an old one from my previous vault run. So you apparently got to make sure you clear them after each run. Ooh, let's see. Oh, we got a diamond ore. So that's one of the treasures I guess you can do, you can get. Wait, is this a village room? This could be a village room, guys. Oh boy. I'm saying oh boy, not because this room is bad, but because this room might have something that is going to take a little bit of time. I wonder if it's this one where there's a stronghold underneath it. The issue is I probably won't be left alone enough in order to find out. <laughs> Ooh, gilded chest. No matter what, that was worth it. An omega chest, let's go. Oh, there is a, there, there's a stronghold here. There is a stronghold. At least I think there is. Yes, yes there is. Okay. Um, is there a... Well, first of all... The, oh, oh, okay. I'm... Now stress is coming to me because... <laughs> I know this room, I know this room is great, but I only have five minutes left. Oh, another one in here, huh? Right, I gotta be swift. Yeah, I don't think we have a, an end gateway in this one, honestly. Unfortunate, because that would be absolutely amazing. But we did, did still get quite a lot of good stuff from that, so I'm still calling that a win. Apparently I'm not... Wait, did I lose that? Did I lose this yoga box? Could you go away? Oh, there's two of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Cleanse. Whew, they can throw. Oh, I did lose it. Those stinkers. I'm out of here. This room all of a sudden got very crowded. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh no. Yeah. I think I'm out of here. <laughs> I might have missed something, but I have two minutes left. It's getting a bit crowded, a bit dangerous. I think I'm heading home. Yep. That was a vault. Well done. Time to go through the loot. So that was five ancient debris together with the six we already had. So that is 12 netherite scrap in total. So that is actually our full netherite armor right there. I'm gonna just set these to cook right away. And then we got a bunch of vault doors, which are going to be extremely useful. Some that we haven't even gotten before. We actually only got three vault cookies, but we actually did level up here. I didn't even realize. So yeah, we're at four and a half. So we got another unspent skill point now. We got more compressed blocks. Awesome. Another wither skull. Two wither skulls actually. Relic boost packs. And we got Iskel the trader. <laughs> Let's see what he trades us. Diamonds. Come on, Iskel. That's that's not very Omega now, is it? To be fair, it's an Omega price, but I just don't need it. I got two more statues, and I'm just gonna place these chests here now. Pole generating diorite. Moni, dense grit sand. Awesome. Mystery boxes. And we actually got a burger bun and a cobalt act uh, apple. And that was all of the loot. Oh, we can only make three pieces of armor. Right. Well, three are better than none, in my opinion. Three netherite ingots, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna give it to my armor here because. Oh, wait. You need a smithing table. I promise I know how to Minecraft, even though I took more iron than I needed. <laughs> netherite helmet, netherite leggings, and netherite chest plate. We are almost. Full netherite. And this thing can go there. All right, I think that I am ready for my next vault run. I have my vault crystal. Ha oh, packed ice. I don't think I need that. I'm gonna select dash so it's ready. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select cleanse because I'll probably need that more than anything. All right, here we go. Ooh, 
okay. Oh, okay. Okay, hold up. What do we got here? We got lucky and we got speedy. So we have, what do we have? Speed two? We have speed two. Okay, but we got crowded and we got difficulty. <laughs> Why did we get difficulty? I don't need difficulty. I mean, we're super fast. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You, okay, we don't have, we don't have a healing vault. We don't have a healing vault. Okay. Um, I think this is my first one where I don't have healing. Actually, that's a lie. Uh, I've had a healing one before. Okay, let's do this. So, f oh no, I hear a witch, I hear a witch. Duck room? We got a duck, is that a? No, I thought that was a guild chest. Uh, okay, this is definitely not the vault where I fight a boss in, that's for sure. Okay. Oh no, I'm doomed. I didn't bring any pillaring blocks. Oh no. <laughs> that is actually bad. Okay, I'm just happy that I have my axe with me. Oh, there's a spawner up there? What's that? Ah, what's that? What, what's going on? <laughs> okay, okay. Pillar up, pillar up, pillar up, pillar up. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, creeper, hello. Okay. Doki, I see. Okay, hello. Ah, uh, that's a very valuable gem, though. That is a very valuable gem. I have a slight feeling that this vault is gonna be the most entertaining vault I've done so far <laughs> to watch. Oh, that, okay. Having dash selected was a bad idea. Very bad idea. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, right, right, right. What's this? What's this thing? Vault time? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, not... Actually, that was worth it. That was worth it. That was actually worth it. Yeah, this is definitely a more stressful vault than the other ones, that's for sure. Okay, right. And we run. I really want that gem down there, but I don't... Think... Mm -mm. Nope, next room. <laughs> Be gone, please. I can take a hit from the zombies, I have netherite armor. It is doing fairly good, actually. I'm really happy that I got netherite armor for this, uh, <laughs> for this specific vault, because, um, yeah, uh, otherwise this would have been a very nasty situation. I don't know fully what this room has to offer, except ancient debris. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Okay, we're going down in the caves. This is probably a horrible idea especially oh i do see a compressed block I do see multiple compressed blocks what is that is that like a dungeon okay nope this room too risky too risky that's another obelisk okay that was poison i keep hitting the wrong button wait is this something back here nope okay oh that was a bad idea you know i had a i had a thought that that was a bad idea but I went there anyway. What is this room? I see TNT, so I'm gonna be careful. Oh, hello. Is this a village room? I don't think this is a village room. I mean, there's plenty of chests here. There's gilded chests as well. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of gilded chests. Oh, wow. Worth it, worth it. Ow. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yikes. Mustn't forget to keep an eye on the time. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Wait, there's a ladder down? This seems like a great chest. Or great chest room. I'm just... A tiny bit scared for my life. Which I think is understandable. Do I take the team? Nah. Actually, I will take the TNT. I don't know if it's needed in, like, some sort of recipe. So, yes, I will take the TNT. Just in case. Okay, nope, you cannot take the TNT. You cannot take the TNT. You cannot take the TNT. Oh. Boy. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm not sure how I'm alive, but I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, dear. Oh, kill the chest. Yay. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. 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 Let me out. Let me out. Okay. I don't like this room anymore. I don't like I, I like it, but I, I also don't like it. Six minutes remaining. That is still plenty of time as long as I stay close to home gateway here. 
The less time that is remaining, the more vault experience I'm gonna get, and I want as much of that as I possibly can, so... Whoa! Okay, that too close to for comfort. Ow! Right, four minutes remaining. Another one of these rooms. Uh, Master Soul, yeah, sure. Sure. I can do that. Whoa! Whoa, what just happened? That was a lot. That was a lot. Reaper. Actually, that did me a favor. Ooh, yes. Oh, Black Pearl. Very rare vault gem. I do want to head back, but I do want to check for these. Check if there's anything of value. Catalyst fragments. I know not to click the TNT. <laughs> I do. Netherite chest plate. I just made a netherite chest plate. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I can't I can't complain too much. You never know when you need a spare for your spare, right? All right, two minutes left. I'm gonna head back. I don't want to get caught out in a mob swarm and not be able to make it through just in case. Okay, home portal. I saw you. Um, that's one minute. I might as well wait a bit um, and hope a creeper doesn't spawn behind me or something. Okay, 40 seconds. I think I'm out. I don't want to push it. <laughs> Let's go home. Okay. That was something. We didn't fill up as many shulker boxes this time around, but we got a lot of useful stuff. I didn't even realize we got another netherite scrap. We just need one more. Well, we just need two more netherite scraps and we'll be able to make full netherite armor. This netherite chest plate though, that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, we already have one, but yeah, that's a pretty good find. A black opal, a very rare vault gem. Very happy that we got that. All right, let's take a closer look here. In total, nine catalyst fragments, star essence. Uh, we got some more gems, a painite gem. That's a rare vault gem as well. We got a bunch of uh, Larimar gems, more magnetite. We almost got another vault level, and in fact... <laughs> There we go. We got now two unspent skill points. We got four mystery boxes. Ooh, slice of tomato. That's good for making the vault burgers. We got four mystery eggs. Rabbit spawn egg, two sheep spawn egg, and a mushroom spawn egg. We also got a Benuite ore. I did see other vault ores in there. I'm very annoyed that I didn't get to get them, but it was just a bit too crowded. We also have 16 relic booster packs. Nothing other than Vault XP, five hearty apples and candy bars and cobalt apples. So that was all of the Vault Hunter loot from that vault. We did, however, also get a bunch of vanilla stuff that is really, really valuable. We got gold, golden apples, a ton of them, tons of bottle of enchanting, got a few enchanted books as well, protection four, Power 5 and and holding 4, more instant health potions, more diamonds, protection 4 book again, and 3 with a skeleton skulls. I'm not, however, going to make the same mistake again and not bring some building blocks because that, yeah, that, that was a crucial mistake that I did. I do think that that was one of the most craziest vaults, but also one of the most interesting, because I don't think I've been running through a vault so fast and so efficiently, at least I think so. But yeah, I found that vault very, very interesting. I hope that was entertaining to watch. I think I panicked maybe a few times. Now I have two unspent skill points here. I think maybe potentially, potentially upgrading my dash ability. There's also, what does this do? <laughs> Imbues Mega Jump with a powerful knockback Nova in a radius around the jump by sacrificing some of the jump power. <laughs> I could select the specialization, by the way, without uh, it taking away a skill point. Immune. Cleanse will make the player immune to a random selected effect cleansed for 20 seconds. What are the other ones? These right here are not unlocked until we reach level 25, but I just want to make sure that I don't select something I will later regret. Cleanse Rejuvenate will give haste and night vision, strength fire resistance, regeneration. Now this, I'm not gonna take this because I will want to get the mend one, I think. Cleanse will heal the player for an amount of hearts per negative effect removed. Cooldown also changes with the speciality. I will want to save the speciality, I think, for this right here. Um, I think that is gonna be the best. I think I'm gonna do some upgrading. I'm gonna upgrade my vein miner to 16 blocks. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my dash to a level two. This way dash should be, yep, a lot more powerful than before. But unfortunately with that, we are out of time for today's episode. But before we go, I just want to take a look at this knowledge star right here, because this is what we need in order to get knowledge points, which is what we need in order to be able to research other mods. And I think we are very close to be able to making our very first knowledge star. It is a bit expensive, but the main gem that we need is Larimar. And well, we have 15 Larimar gems here. And I have seven Larimar ores right here. And for the star shards, we need a bunch of star essence, but I also have quite a lot of that as well. So maybe if we do enough vaults in the next episode, we will be able to get our very first knowledge star. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications. Now, if you're interested in other games other than Minecraft, such as maybe Farming Simulator, you can check out my second channel where I'm currently running a Farming Simulator series and I have other stuff in mind that I want to do over there that is Minecraft. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. Also, if you want to support me even further, I do have a Patreon page link down below in the description or go to patreon.com slash binary vigilante. And if you're interested in some uh, binary to let merch then uh, maybe maybe that might be a link for that too down below in the description but anyways really hope you have enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and goodbye <laughs>